All right, this is just a short video to show a, a little script I put together in AutoIt uh, to do keyboard-only LaTeX equations in Canvas. Uh, Canvas is a nice a little system I've started using uh, for my courses. Um, it does have an equation editor. The equation editor even lets you enter LaTeX, but the workflow is a bit clunky if, uh, if you're used to just typing things. Uh, you know, I can say a function, and if I want a formula, an equation, I need to move my mouse. I have to get to my mouse. I have to click the equation editor. I have to click the text field. Well, I, I've asked Canvas to fix that, but they haven't yet. I just asked them yesterday. And then I can just type my math, right? Uh, notice if uh, there's this basic view and an advanced view. The advanced view lets you enter the LaTeX. Then I have to go down and click Enter Equation. Technically, I can do it with a, with a tab and an Enter, but um, I can get my LaTeX. Uh, and you know, it, it's, it, it does a good amount of LaTeX. It does most of the stuff I need, but it's really messy to take my hands off the keyboard. So what I've done is I've set up a little script. Uh, it's an AutoIt scripting language for Windows. Uh, I'll put a link in the, in the comments section. This is latexcanvas.au3. It's just a short script and it's plain text. You can open it up and look at it. You can modify it if you want. It's, it's uh, nothing nefarious in there. If I run it, here's what happens. Um, first, what I want to do is move my mouse to the uh, equation, insert key, and type dollar sign. Okay? That, that tells the script where uh, the button is to press for me. Uh, if I open up the equation uh, editor, I also want to move to the middle of the text field and press dollar sign again. Uh, these are the two bits of information the script needs at startup to, to configure. So again, where's the button? Press dollar sign. Where's the text field pop up for the equation editor? Press dollar sign. Now I'm ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I can simply type a dollar sign and immediately I'm in to enter my equation. And if I press dollar sign again, I'm back out. Now it's not as smooth as typing it in an editor because, you know, uh, Canvas is still doing a bit of processing, so it's a little bit sluggish, but my hands never have to leave the keyboard, which I think is a huge uh, pickup in speed. <coughs> There's two notes here. Um, the first is... When you enter an equation normally in, in Canvas, it does not highlight the field for you. That's why there's a part to, to click that text field. I've asked Canvas to fix this. There's no reason not to jump straight to editing. If they fix that, I will update the script. Second thing you'll notice is that when I made this uh, equation, if I go back into it, you may have noticed if your eyes are very quick, uh, the script automatically put a space at the end inside the LaTeX. The reason is, um, I don't know if anyone has noticed this or had this issue, after an equation, you can press space ball all you want until the cows come home. Uh, no spaces are going to appear. The only way I can get a space is to put a character in, put a space, erase the character, and come back over, which is ludicrous. Um, so I've, I've had the script add a space within the math, because most of the time uh, I want that space there. Uh, even if I put a comma or a period afterwards, it's not too clunky. Uh, I'd rather have the extra space for now than have to try and insert it every time. I've also asked Canvas to... Uh, fix that bug, which is a real bug, not just a, not just a feature suggestion. Uh, if and when that happens, I, I would say get rid of the, the little tilde in the script. If you open up the script, uh, if I edit that script, it's very short. Uh, you'll see it right there. When you enter dollar sign the second time, it's going to put a tilde, press tab to get down to the submit, and then enter. Um, you can read through all this if you know a little bit of coding. It's, it's you know, quick basic like. Um, anyway, it, it's very, very convenient. I can just enter equation, uh, you know, is injective means that, whoops, getting rid of italics here, you know, means that, you know, dollar sign, uh, x, uh, f of x equals f of y implies x equals y, dollar sign. Hands never left the keyboard. Um, I think it's a much smoother workflow. Uh, it's been working well for me. If there's any issues, uh, feel free to modify it as you see fit. Uh, you can contact me if you like, uh, if you see any problems or have any suggestions. Again, if and when Canvas fixes the spacebar issue or fixes the needing to click on the text field issue in the uh, equation editor, I will tighten up the script and update it. Uh, hope you enjoy. And thank you very much.